This video presents a brief overview of the work done at the 2013 Amalthea RU program. My name is Heather Khan, and I will be presenting our work along with my partner Jacob Chen. Our goal is to present a framework that can classify a human-object interaction taking place in a video. In order to accomplish this, we have three key steps, namely, extract motion information on key objects in a video, identify the object being interacted with, and combine the information gained from the previous steps to classify the interaction. There are multiple motivations for solving this problem. Primarily, we are concerned with lowering the cost of video annotation. As more video data is being recorded, searching through that data can become difficult. Solving this problem by automatically annotating videos would have a tremendous impact on the way we view information in the future. Our approach requires appearance-based information of the object. Firstly, we extract the object from each frame of the video. Next, we process the object image by either transforming it through edge detection or taking overlaying patches in order to build our corpus. Once the corpus is built, we are able to construct a feature vector for each video in the dataset. We assume that each object will have similar feature vectors that we can model with a probabilistic distribution. This probabilistic distribution can be learned through implementing the expectation maximization algorithm. Once the probabilistic distributions are learned, we output a kernel which describes the similarity between videos with respect to the objects present in the videos. In order to extract motion information from videos, we must first detect objects of interest. We train models like the one shown on the top right for full human body detection and also hand detection. Once we can detect objects with confidence, we use a modification of a method known as tracking by detection to construct trajectories for our key objects. Instead of simply linking detections together, we use optical flow to estimate the motion of the object of interest. After our trajectories have been generated, we refine them by removing trajectories of false detections. We then normalize our hand trajectories with respect to the body so we can compare trajectories from different videos. Since trajectories are time series of different lengths, we need to use a specialized kernel method such as the dynamic time alignment kernel to compare them. To classify actions, we use a popular machine learning algorithm, support vector machines. We use the kernelized soft margin form of SVM extended to handle multiple classes. The way we do this is by using the one verse all approach. Training a binary classifier for each class of action which decides whether an action belongs to that particular class or not. We are able to combine the kernels from trajectories, velocities, and appearance information to improve our classification. Our project establishes a robust framework for human-object interaction recognition. We are able to extract motion and appearance information from a video and make a prediction as to what type of interaction is taking place.